Setting start, due, or end dates on discussion topics, drop boxes, and quizzes can be a bit tricky because the behavior of these dates works differently within each tool. Plus, setting up dates for discussion topics can be real confusing. So please carefully read the information below if you're looking at the step-by-step -step tutorials and make sure you watch each of the video tutorials associated with this best practices guide. So that's what this is, a best practices guide for setting up dates on discussions, topics, and drop boxes. This particular tutorial will talk about drop boxes. And there's three situations. Let's say you don't want to restrict when the students can submit. Don't care then don't put any dates. Leave the dates alone. Don't put any dates within the course content area or the submission review area. Second scenario, you want to restrict the students when, when they can submit to a range of dates. In this particular case, you're going to set up the start and end dates via the course content area or the submission review tab area. So if in the course content area, I'm on a Dropbox, I'm going to go to Edit Properties in Place. I'm going to go to Add Dates. I'm going to go ahead and add a start date here. I can add an end date here. And I'm going to go ahead and update that. This setting allows the students to review their submissions and feedback after the Dropbox closes. Now, what I'm saying is I can do it here, but I can also add the dates to Submission Review tab here. You'll notice this is the one I set up. I can actually go here and edit folder and I can actually put the restrictions over here also. In other words, if I change the dates here, that will change the dates over in the course content area. I'm going to go ahead and just turn these off for now and you'll see if I turn them off here, it will affect the course content area. No dates. Now there is one last scenario. You want to restrict, you do not want to restrict when the students can submit but you would like them to know when the Dropbox ass assignment is due so it's flagged as late. In this particular case, you're going to set the due date only via the course content area or the submission review area. So again, I go in here and I go here and now what I'm going to do is set the due date. And what a due date will do for Dropboxes is it will flag those submissions as late. So I can show you, for example, in the Dropbox here, if I go view the submission, you'll see, oops, I'm sorry, the wrong one. You'll see that they are, they will be flagged as late if they're passed. It'll say past date due. Again, if you don't want to restrict any dates, leave the dates alone. No, you won't leave it alone. Don't want to restrict the students at all. You want to restrict the students to a specific date, a specific range of dates, then set the start and end dates. And again, the students would still be able to go and review their submissions. You don't want to restrict when the students can submit, but you have a due date for it. And you want to know when the students submit late, and maybe you're going to take some points off, then you set the due date.